So we're going to kick off this tutorial session with two short talks that are more, especially this first one for later reference. <laughs> um, but this, this one is all Greg's fault. He proposed <laughs> that we, we do a quick uh, introduction talk that goes through the learning resources available uh, to learn more about HD Condor. So this is HD Condor orienteering. So the good news, as many of you hopefully know, is that Condor is powerful. It can do a lot of things. The bad news is that making it do all of those things in exactly the way you want, not always 100% straightforward. Luckily, there's a lot of good information on the internet. Unluckily, sometimes it's hard to find and navigate. So this talk is meant to give you a few kind of starting points for navigating the internet and learning more about HD Condor. Uh, so in general, uh, the stuff we produce is the best because we um, it's likely to be more up to date. Um, Stack Overflow, random searches, Stack Overflow again, sometimes have useful tips, but again, are more likely to be out of date or potentially a, a kludge that's not the best way best way to do something. Um, and just in general, to be aware of, of versioning when you're looking for, for information and potential customization. So I wouldn't even recommend necessarily using like the CHTC user documentation as your one true way to have user docs because we have our Condor set up a spe specific way. Um, so these are just things to be to be aware of. So moving on uh, to hopefully uh, reliable sources of information, uh, we have talk re recordings on YouTube from both Condor Week and other events. So that link is up here. Again, the slides are online. You can uh, check out all these these links later. Um, the slides and recordings from Condor Week are also posted on old uh, Condor Week websites. So this link on the, on the Condor website goes to past Condor Weeks. I personally wouldn't go more than like two or three years back because of changes to Condor over time. Um, but I think there's a lot of talks from the last two or three years that are really, really valuable. Um, there is, of course, the manual. Uh, I know that it's not ideal, and we've already had some chats about that at this meeting, but it's we're slowly making improvements. This is sort of Greg's single-handed mission to drag the manual into usability. Manual labor. Um, and uh, if you, you know, it's in GitHub, you're welcome to submit pull requests uh, if you have if you have some ideas for us. All right. Uh, if you don't have time to read the whole manual, uh, the part we especially recommend are the command reference pages. I will say as a facilitator, this is definitely what I use the most uh, is looking through the Condor submit page. Uh, TJ will be giving a talk about that later today. Um, Condor submit, Condor queue, some of the um, basic commands, those are really useful reference. Um, you can obviously get similar information from the command line by using the man pages or help flag. Uh, if, if you are especially interested in what has changed recently, this is another piece of the manual to, to focus on the release notes and, and version history. Um, for those of you who are a little more old school, uh, there is the HD Condor users mailing list, uh, which is a place to get real questions, hopefully real answers, um, and learn a little bit more about how, how Condor works. And then obviously for those of you who are here in person, um, connecting with us uh, during this conference, asking questions, um, we can perhaps point you to specific learning resources uh, and kind of direct you where you need to go to make progress on your particular uh, scenario. So uh, any 
questions? Greg, do you have anything to add in terms of, these were originally your slides, so. I, I take back everything I said about you. Uh, the only other thing I say is um, we're glad you're here. Um, we want this to be a users group meeting, not you know uh, us coming from an eye, how high telling you how much how it's going to be and how much you're going to like it. So we really encourage you know these these peer to peer interactions. Uh, I think there's a, a tremendous amount of value there. So don't be uh, don't be afraid to talk to that random person uh, at lunch who uh, probably knows probably knows more than. Uh, or together, together, who knows uh, more than any one person? Yeah. 